ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel today we have i can't remember what size this piece of metal is but it is about four inches long we've got two of them what we're going to be making today is a pair of scrolling pliers now probably scrolling tongs would be best but we used these i didn't make a video on it i made another pair of tongs to hold the small rebar, 8mm round rebar that we've got because um, we didn't have any tongs that specifically hold it um, I had a look on YouTube and I found the way to make it all line up nicely so we are going to practice this with this we bet this is the metal we used on the tongs so we don't really have any more of it uh, I might think about getting some more of it because it's nice to make tongs with thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy right, so we're going to start off with just with about Half an inch maybe, three quarters of an inch. So they fit up like this quite nicely actually. We're going to use 8mm round rebar to for the rivet for this. First we're going to force the heads, Okay, we're going to tape it in down to the point. Then we're going to put, uh, do the rivet and then we're going to square everything up. select one I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna center punch I basically just if you don't know what center punching is putting a dent in a piece of metal ready for drilling now the reason why we do the center punching is so that the drill bit um, has a place to start drilling otherwise it may just wiggle around all over the place 
Right, from there, we are going to roughly, I'll just line everything up, and then roughly gauge where the next one will be. There we go. So now we can get on to drilling these holes. We're going to drill 8mm holes, um, or 8.5, sorry, 8.5mm holes in these, because the um, pieces of metal that we're going to be using are 8mm round bar, and um, the reason why you want 8.5 is so that the 8mm can fit in there nicely, and as you're starting to put the rivet on it, like this, you hammer it down, and it becomes a lot wider around the top and it holds everything in place and it just gives it room to squish down and yeah, gives it room to work so let's get to drilling right so we've got our eight um eight mil round bar here we only want around when you're doing a rivet like this I only want really about two inches. Right, here you go. So I'm going to be using this. It's a little block. I might need to drill a new hole. That's fine. This basically will do is it will hold the piece nicely on the anvil. It'll keep it up and it will leave that much material sticking out the bottom. So I I can pe um, peen this over for the rivet, and then once that's peened over, then I can peen that material out the bottom over as well. So here we go. I'm gonna stick this one top first, so it's on there. We grab our rivet, and this, this end is slightly cooler, so we're gonna stick this end in here, so we have the slightly hotter end sticking out the top. That way we can hammer on the slightly hotter end. piece here and then we are going to just wiggle the handles open and close what that will do is because of the heat it will move any metal that is in the way out of the way so that these pliers will open and close freely to do. I'm just going to ever so slightly straighten out this one here um, because at the moment it's not quite in line. So I'm just going to straighten this one out and that should hopefully bring them nicely in together. Yeah. Yeah. So let's draw pieces now straight with the whole piece. Now, just to square everything off, there's some little rough bits. Um, I'm going to go over them with a little file. Um, but first off, I'm just going to put it back in the forge and we're going to wiggle it around a little bit more just to loosen everything up for the final time. Down 
So now what we're going to do is we're just going to stick it in the forge, wait for that colour to come over. If you look at all these shiny spots here, you can see them all through there. In a minute, once I put it in the forge and take it out, you won't be able to see those shiny spots. You don't need to get them red hot, that was an accident. Um, you only need to get them hot enough so that the colours come through and take all, out all those shiny bits. So we're going to cool them off and then we can oil them up. Right, so I almost forgot. Put that back. I'm going to put an S in there. That's a bit for this video. Thank you so so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, comment what you liked, what you didn't like, what, uh, any other projects that you'd like me to take up. Um, like if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos. Uh, so I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.